My name is Roland Hernandez. I'm the founder of the baseball bat company named Rock Bats. I'd like to explain some properties that are pretty important in making baseball bats. What I have here is basically a log of hard maple, sugar maple. And what I've done here is I've actually cut it up very similar to how it's cut up in the sawmill. And they make a first cut and so they open up the face. And from there they can then tell what quality of wood do they have in this log. And their first cut is always trying to be very parallel to the outside bark. Their next cut is a three inch cut, slightly over three inches. And so then they have a large slab that looks just like that. What they then do is then they have to cut squares out of that plank or out of that first cut. And like I mentioned, the first most important thing is to cut parallel to the, to the bark. And so when you cut parallel to the bark, then that next cut is, is assuring that you have a nice straight grain in that, in that blank. And so what this red line indicates is that that's the line of the growth rings. There's two planes. There's the, the edge grain face and the flat grain face. And if you have straight grain in both of those, then you have a very high quality bat. If you have a, a bat that is cut from a, from a square like this, and just like splitting firewood, almost all the failures are always on the flat grain. So when you see a broken bat in a game and you see that oval shaped failure, that is an indication or it's a strong indicator the wood was not straight in that bat. We looked at forest service data and saw that it actually is stronger if you hit on the flat grain. So one of the things that we did with our baseball bats for rock bats is that Early on in our business, we wanted to do something that was different than what other folks did. And so we actually labeled our bats on the edge grain so that when a player is instructed to hit with the logo up, they're actually hitting on the flat grain. Number one property that really drops strength tremendously is the slope of grain. How straight of grain is in that bat? What has been adopted by, by the professional leagues this year is to start putting a dot of ink right at the 12 inch location on the handle. And the reason for that is because that would allow a person, whether it's an inspector, a player, a coach, uh, to come in and inspect that ink spot. And what that does is it's actually, the ink actually bleeds in the direction of the grain. And so if you had wood that was gonna have an angle of grain like this, that ink spot would actually bleed at that angle. In our production process, we actually put the ink spot that's required by the highest of all the professional leagues and we are assuring that there is, if this is a A plus quality bat, we're showing you by actually putting a measurable mark on the handle. 